Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. Have you ever had a situation where you realize that you have accidentally double entered a payment into your QuickBooks? In this example, I'm referring to entering a transaction as an expense and then also entering it as a bill payment. So what I have is an expense for Canva. So in the upper left hand corner, you see the form type is expense. You can see the payee is Canva. This takes place on 612. It comes out of the Relay account, software, all this. So perfect. That's great. Until you discover that you actually had created a bill and marked the bill is paid, you want to keep the bill in the bill payment and you don't really want to have the expense and you definitely don't want it duplicated. I want to show you how to fix that. I thought we'd make it extra fun by complicating the situation. When we look at this, we can see that this bill payment was allegedly paid out of the credit card, the Alaska Airlines 3609 card. But when we look at the expense, we can say that it comes out of the bank account for DocuClipper. We can see there's one online banking match that tells us that it downloaded from the bank. You categorized, you clicked add, the whole thing. So we know it came out of the Relay account. However, this is the thing we want to keep. What we're going to do, and this will feel kind of counterintuitive, is we're going to delete the very thing we want to keep. We have a bill payment and we're going to delete it. To delete it, I'm going to click on more at the bottom of my screen and then I'll select delete. Am I sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. It's a demo. If the video goes wrong, I can redo it. Let me go back to my expense tab. Here's the trick. If I refresh, so I'm just going to refresh my entire browser. Let QuickBooks think for a second. On the right hand side of the screen, QuickBooks says, hey, you have a bill over here. Would you like me to just pay that bill with this money? And I'm like, yeah, that would be really great. So I'm going to click on add. I click on add. Everything is good until I realize that QuickBooks turned this into zero. And I'm like, wait, a second ago, you told me you could mark this as paid and just kind of clean up the mess I made for myself. And, and now you're telling me that it's zero dollars. Well, you just you get a cup of coffee or in my case, tea. I'm over here drinking out of the mustache mug because I think it's funny. Um, I'm just going to enter my payment amount of $12.99. So amount paid, $12.99. I can click on online banking match and I can see, yep, that's the right amount of money. I can see down here the amount to apply, $12.99. The amount to credit, $0. That's great. I'm going to go ahead and select save and close. I didn't show you in the beginning that I was in the profit and loss twice, but I think if you're watching the video, you probably have a good sense of that. Let me just show you or prove to you that it's only in there once now. So I'm going to go to the profit and loss, go to 12, 23, 6, 12, 23, run report, um, change it to cash, run report. So there's one entry for $12.99. Um, a different way to look at it is if we go to vendors and we go to Canva we should see just the one payment. Uh, third way, if we search for $12.99, we're going to see um, the bill and the bill payment. And this is me messing around with billable expenses. I hope this video has been helpful. If there's anything my team or I can do for you, please don't hesitate to reach out. I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching via Zoom, self-paced courses to learn QuickBooks. And then my team and I offer QuickBooks bookkeeping. Sometimes it's a one-time project, other times it's ongoing. If you have any suggestions for videos you'd like to see me make, please let me know. I'm always open to ideas. I always want to help. I'm so grateful for all the people that create content that save me when I'm stuck. I'm happy to pay it forward. So thank you so much and have a great day.